Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with another hardware review of the Seed Studio Recomputer J1020 powered by the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Let's get into this. Okay everyone, welcome back. In keeping with Seed Studio's goal of providing quality edge compute devices, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the ReComputer J1020, which is powered by NVIDIA's Jetson Nano. This device is capable of running a flux cumulus node, and because of its small footprint and low power consumption, it's a great device to run from home. So let's take a closer look at some of the specs. Over here on the Seed Studios website, that's S-E-E-E-D studio.com. I'll leave a link in the description for this particular device. We are taking a look at the ReComputer J1020 powered by the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Now, if we take a closer look at the device specs, we are dealing with the Jetson Nano 4 gigabyte version, which is interesting because the minimum amount of RAM you need for a flux node is eight gigabytes of RAM, but an exception was made specifically for this device to encourage edge computing in decentralizing the flux network. So this is a great way to go. And it's pretty affordable at 259. What else do we get with this module? Well, we get 16 gigs of onboard eMMC storage, but you can also use your own micro SD card. It's got a video encoder, so that means onboard graphics. I mean, for a flux node, we don't really have a need for that video component per se, or at least maybe not yet. Who knows, with proof of useful work down the line, that could be a thing. But for right now, uh, it's enough video to basically install the software that you need to run the Flux node. Suffice it to say, uh, it's got everything that it needs to run a Flux node at the Cumulus level. So let's dive into this thing. And here is the ReComputer J1020 fitted with the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. I really love this case, guys. I think it's the same case as the Odyssey, but this one is a matte black finish, all aluminum. It's got connectors here to mount on the back of your monitor if that's what you'd like to do. Or if you want to run several nodes, you can just put the top on, stack a bunch of these, and you'll be off to the races. Now let's take a look at the device itself. I really like the NVIDIA Jetson because uh, these modules are uh, built onto SODIM chips, basically. So uh, the compute module itself, uh, which is fitted here with the um, heatsink, th this is just like, you know, interchangeable. So if you're somebody who likes to tinker, you, you can look into other modules to enable other types of features, you know, different types of either edge computing, AI, uh, whatever else that you may be, you know, machine learning, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but since this is just really, can this thing run flux? You know, it's like the new, can it run crisis? <laughs> can it run a flux node? Yes. Yes, it can. Out of the box. It's good for a flux node. You do have to do a little bit of updating here. Uh, and I'll get into that in just a minute. But as far as the other features on the top of the board here, we have the 40 pin connector there for those who like to tinker couple of ribbon connectors there. Also for those who like to use external devices like webcams and stuff like that or maybe not even webcams. If you, have, if, you want, if you want to put a serious camera on here, you could do that. Um, as for IO, we're talking DisplayPort, HDMI, four USB 3.0s, a gigabit LAN, and then a USB type C. The storage though, that's gonna be the key for the flux node. And to get at the storage, you gotta take four screws out, take the device out of the case, and then you'll have access to the M.2 slot. And that's where you would populate a 250 gigabyte M.2 SSD. That will give you the storage space and the speed that you need for running the Flux node. So with that in mind, 
you'll need to get this device plus that M.2 SSD. And then on their website, they go into detail about how you can set that SSD up to run with the system. And the idea is, is basically to migrate the OS over to the SSD. But I'm gonna just go ahead and direct you over to the Medium post that Volter created for this device specifically and how you would prepare it to run a Cumulus node. So I'll put a link to that down in the description. So that's my review of the Recomputer J1020. It seems to check all the boxes. It's small, low power consumption. It can run a flux node. You can earn a little extra flux and it can help decentralize the flux network. So seems to be a win-win. Let me know what you think about this device down in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.